When I show up with competence and security and a sense of I've got myself in my life, then the play, the fun, the pleasure, and the movement is welcome. Mm -hmm. It's almost mm -hmm. like irrepressible, Just it just follows suit. Yeah. So even in this past year and a half or so since my last divorce, I have engaged a lot of you know masculine maturation where I have shown myself that I can handle aspects of life that I imagined I needed you know a partner you know mm -hmm. or a man specifically to handle for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean things like I'm talking about like leasing a car. Car, right? Like there's like right, basic right. things. And as I have shown myself that I can handle these things, there is this deepening sense of, oh, not only am I going to then relate to a man, not from a place of like princessy come save me, you know, cause I can't, I also have this, this core foundational, like okayness, you know, like I took my first jujitsu class and there were a lot of women in the class and I was speaking to one of the senior women who was helping to train and she was talking about how she feels so safe in her body doing this practice. She's been doing it for many years and she's like really into it. Right. And I'm, I like to dance. I mean, that's my thing. So I'm like in, curious about this whole martial arts thing. Like, how does this work? And it made so much sense to me that women are attracted to these kinds of practices, not to become manly, right? Or like right. not to be masculine, but in fact, to confer, confer that sense of inner safety to their system so that they can walk in the world as a woman. You know, ideally, we have a society where the men in our society offer this, not only mm -hmm. to the women and children, but actually also to the other men. And mm -hmm. right now, that is not occurring. <laughs> in my opinion, it's actually right. strategic and it is actually socially engineered. And we are in a, a bit of a mess, right? Where mm -hmm. we have actually colluded as women with the um, confusing inversion of polarity, where we mm -hmm. feel entitled to adopt this right. masculine energy and we want to disempower and thinking that it is empowering us, you know, the men of the world. So this is a lot of what I've been sort of yes. exploring in my own process of ending the war with, with men so that yes. I stop projecting, right? And getting yes. into those mini battles or macro battles um, on the outside. But I do think that, you know, this process of of swinging back and forth between you know sort of like this this structuring energy in your life like the power of your word the integrity of your commitments the the way you relate to clear decision making right like what are what is what is in front of you to address and you don't cower in sort of like helplessness you know uh 